Hey everybody, I've got a brand new music video reaction slash review coming at you today, and this one is for Russian Roulette by Red Velvet. It's been a while since we've seen and heard them, so let's jump right in and check it out. Here we go. Backing track definitely sounds really tight. Definitely got that 80s influence. are like really low key it's kind of surprising very kind of low in intensity the beats definitely got some more kick than the uh, typical 80s type of song a lot more punch to it but it is in that kind of style overall I like this chord progression here, this build up. You can hear the risers, synthesizers. I feel like they're kind of matching the real straight faced mannequin type of delivery with the vocals a little bit, like the actual performance of the vocals. So I'm guessing that's on purpose, considering that they've also made it a point to do that in the video. Um, but I don't know if I like that, it's kind of not as engaging and intense as they usually are vocally. Incredibly dark. Here's a piano. I like these cool little uh, goofy synth parts. Don't really know what else to call them. Really accents the piece nicely. And that's it. So this was actually really kind of strange. Definitely really concept heavy. You can tell that they've really committed to whatever concept this is supposed to be with the video and the song all tied together. Definitely think it could be considered more of an art piece, which is something I've found myself talking about a lot lately. Seems to be kind of a trend. And I do like elements about the song. I think it was very catchy in some places. And even the vocals are pretty nice. There's nothing technically wrong with them at all. But I've listened to this song like four or five times now, like I always do after the first listen. And it just didn't really capture my attention and wow me at all and a lot of it I think is what I was talking about before with the vocal delivery you know very low-key delivery in the music video visually that you're seeing which I do think was a great effect for the music video but then having the actual audio sound like they were singing it like that too I do think kind of limited the song's potential and didn't really effectively show us what Red Velvet is capable of and that's not necessarily a bad thing obviously groups don't have to show off in every single song they do if they did music would probably be pretty boring but at the same time if you heard just this song you might get a very very different possibly negative impression of their vocal abilities and if you heard the song in comparison to something like Happiness or Dum Dum you may be a little confused about where all that energy and 
and kind of vocal charisma has disappeared to. And one last observation about that that's kind of stuck in my head and really has no basis, it's just kind of a feeling I get. This song sounds almost like they recorded it way back before Happiness even. It sounds like an early demo that was done a long time ago, kind of before they developed into the vocals that they've had on their past couple releases. Now, obviously I don't think that's even possible because they have apparently added a fifth member here to the recording, but just something to think about. If you heard all of Red Velvet's singles and you didn't know what order they came out with, would you place this one at the beginning because it sounds like their earliest effort? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. That's just kind of a weird feeling that I was getting when listening to this. As for the song itself, the backing track and the production on it I thought was really strong. It sounded tight. I like the synth and percussion and bass tones they were going for. And you know, like I said before, the vocals are catchy in a lot of spots, but going back to the low intensity delivery and how the vocals were arranged, um, I do think that that was lacking a little bit as well. So kind of an interesting choice arrangement wise, songwriting wise, and vocal execution wise for a group that's generally presented as an up and coming vocal powerhouse. So let's jump back into the song, analyze it again, see what we can find. Here we go. Some really effective use of uh, dissonance, especially in the synth chord tones. Really nice layering. One of the other strengths, I think, of this song is the amount of space in the mix. You know, there's pauses between the synth hits. There's that sense of, like, air, basically, where there's nothing going on. Um, and it really helps emphasize the uh, back and forth kind of beat. Again, the harmonies sound really nice, but the delivery is like so mellowed out, it just doesn't hit you with anything. It just kind of exists, you know? Interestingly enough, this sounds like a song that they selected to kind of compete with all of the brand new generation girl groups, um, rather than the groups that came out at the same time, um, maybe around like the same time or more recently than when Red Velvet debuted. Um, so maybe that was on purpose, I'm sure it was on purpose, um, but I just don't know if that's my favorite choice in the world. But yeah, I can imagine, you know, one of the other really young, very recently debuted girl groups doing a song like this. Um, just maybe not as much. I can imagine other groups doing this song maybe more than Red Velvet. does sound like a little bit of an intensity increase here towards the end with the vocals, um, which, you know, I think demonstrates that it kind of makes it move a little bit more, makes it a lot more exciting, uh, versus the previous choruses. It's not major, it seems to be subtle, it might have even been just mixing stuff where they were uh, riding the vocal levels up a little bit. Whatever it was, it did sound a little bit more intense towards the end, and I thought the song like got better as it got more intense, so. A very back and forth kick, snare, kick, snare. That kind of beat is what I was talking about before. Um, and it's very effective, you know, the beat works, 
the backing track works quite a bit. You know, there's nothing technically wrong with it. I just thought that overall it was really lacking something. So anyway, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you could share this video all over the place. Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, forums. All that stuff really helps me out and I'll see you guys next time.